So now it's time to wash the 8N. My brother had got this tractor stuck uh, earlier today and it was stuck about a, almost up to the set, the bottom of the center rim here. So it was a, in there about a foot. And of course we have the sickle bar mower on here also. So I'm just gonna wash this thing off and make it look brand new again. Yeah. But you, of course, you know, the front tires are dirty, and the bucket's dirty, and it's just, uh, it needs a washing, that's for sure. Leftover dirt in the bucket. And she's pretty dirty. There's a lot of stuff, even on the top of the transmission. So she's just pretty, she's really dirty. So let's, uh... Let's pressure wash this thing. So I'm really glad I was pressure washing this tractor. It was uh, really, really dirty. And I'll tell you, picking out all this grass in between the teeth and stuff on the sickle mower, that was not fun. I think we had gotten this thing clogged up, and that's why there's still a whole bunch of grass on it. But... Those of you that have watched my channel before know I've been messing around with the big tires on the uh, Alice Chalmers D17. And um, at the time I'm making this video, or doing this voiceover, I am just about ready to put the other tire back on. And I still have to wait uh, both rears. But I'm really glad I got all the calcium out of the rear tires of that tractor. The calcium is a terrible thing to use to weight tires. It works very, very effectively, but for the life of the rim, it's really, uh, really a bad thing if you have a leak or something. And the two, both tires on this tractor are also filled with, I'm pretty sure it's calcium. And I think what I'll do is get, whenever we're not going to be using this tractor, maybe at the end of the season or something, I will uh, pull these tires and rims off of the tractor itself and then what I'll do is I'll you know, pull the rim off the tractor, pull the tire out of the rim, purchase a new tube and then also put in some windshield washer fluid in this tractor and of course I'll try to paint everything. Actually that needs to be done before I can't paint anymore in the winter because we don't we don't have anything that's heated and no heated buildings to paint in and then plus you're using the oil based paint so the time to do this is uh, sooner rather than later and a lot of the calcium had leaked out and who knows we hopefully I don't have to do any major rim repair on this tractor. That concludes washing the 8N in the Ford 501 sickle mower. Gee from here this tractor looks almost brand new without my glasses on. Yeah, this thing was pretty dirty. I'm pretty glad I did this. There was dirt caked all over this thing from the tires to the sickle mower, uh, the seat, the fender, the hood. You can tell we use this tractor, so I'm really glad I did this. I'm not a big fan of getting water in bearings and stuff, but a lot of these things on this are all greasable, so that shouldn't really be a problem so well i think that is pretty much all i have to say for this video hope you guys enjoyed it uh, the 8n nice and clean still need a tetanus shot though to use it so don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more and hopefully we will see you all in the next one thanks for watching